Hello, it's Bosco, and I'm back with more toy collectibles. Uh, here on a very rainy day here in uh, Las Vegas, so what better way to uh, talk about toys? Actually, any day is uh, good to talk about toys, but even more so when it rains out. And uh, in front of you is a box that I had unpacked that Carlos had sent me. So I'm going to show you all the stuff that he sent me. Uh, most of the uh, action figures uh, that he sent me, I'm not going to go through every single one of them because it would take a long time to go through them. But this is the lot that he had uh, acquired uh, at the Goodwill. And... Um, Actually, I want to show you some of my favorites. Uh, some of these I have not pinpointed because uh, I don't recognize the toy company on the bottom of their feet. But these are some that I've never actually re really seen in the wild before. <clears throat> and I know I don't have the best lighting because it's very uh, dark out right now. Even though it's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon because it's raining out and I don't have much light coming in. But... Here's some of the action figures uh, of, uh, I think it's from like Mag Toy Corporation, which I've never heard of them before. And this one actually comes with a, a cool backpack uh, accessory. And got another guy right there. Actually, I like the guy, I like this guy here because he's got uh, this uh, it's a helmet that's molded on. But, uh, See if you can see that with my hand there. There you go. And then more of the same guys in the in this line from like I guess Mag Toys, I guess. There you go. Okay. And there's another one. Not bad sculpts. Uh they're they're actually of a good quality too. Uh which the ones I'm gonna show you now. The ones that are like the real bad uh, dollar store uh, variety. Ones I do find amusing though, just because they're so poor in the in the paint job quality and just of the molding. And um, like, let's see if I can find. There's just some that there's some that I own because uh, I like keep them around that I might use for some amusing toy photos, but. Like, as you can see here, just the face is so skinny and scrawny. And there's like no, like very bad paint jobs. And, uh, like another one here. There we go. Once it focuses. It's just like, his face is like pure white. I know it's bad light and you can't really tell, but... Well, actually not pure white. It's more, more like a, uh, I don't know, like a vanilla, uh, like a peach color almost. Very light peach color, but still they're, they're very amusing action figures. And then ones that I love collecting that I'm going to show you right now are the Lennard. And all these are within the early 2000 realm. And, uh, let's see, here's another one I'll show you. Actually, this is not Lenard. This is actually Unimax. This is the one that was in the, uh, I, I put it with the Lenards. But, um, I actually kind of like his, um, his whole, uh, vest outfit there. And I actually like that he's got, like, the American flag there. So, pretty cool. And then, the amusing, th uh, the amusing thing about some of these Lennard figures. Here, I'll show you the one that I actually kind of like. I have the red version of this guy. And, um... Because this is probably early 2000 on him. Uh, middle. 2005. Uh, I guess it's close enough to call it early 2000, but 2005. But I had the red version, which I actually like the red version better than the blue. Uh, it just, red looks better than this bluish, greenish thing that they've, paint job that they've got. But still a cool figure. And then, ones have, have got just the, and I'm going to use the word derpy here. 
even though it's a Lennar, they, they use just like derpy faces. I mean, just really haggard faces for some of these. It's so amusing. Especially this one where he's just, I, I don't know what's going on with this guy. <laughs> and then I think, oh, and then here's Steven Seagal here, which uh, everybody has made a comment about this figure. That he looks like a like a Steven Seagal wannabe because he's even got the ponytail in the back. Probably an inspiration for this figure, Steven Seagal. And where's the I had another guy with a just a weird face. This one's kind of got a weird face going on. I mean, it's just I don't know. It's just weird. Very amusing. I love collecting these action figures, so it's very cool that Carlos sent them to me, and I'll put them to good use. And because uh, I, I love bagging the the uh, Lenard figures, and because uh, the Lenard figures have the the names and like some dossiers with them, so I like putting the names and stuff like that when I bag them and uh, put them in their little uh, home of the shoebox I have them in. Uh, ones to go with my uh, Nintendo cars because I don't have that much of the Nintendo cars collected yet, but I do have a good uh, collection going right now. And again, very sorry about the poor lighting. But here's Donkey Kong. And I've got a Mario. And this is another Mario. So I got two Marios, so that's pretty cool. And then I love this Toad car. Very cool, because I love the little jet propeller thing in the back there. So, very cool. Okay. Next, we've got this... I think it's Lennard. Let me double check here. Yes, 2013 Lennard. I guess Lennard is actually... Uh, I'm going to have to lay him sideways. Too tall for the camera. But they're starting to make these large figures now, uh, maybe 12 inch, I guess. And he's got the rifle, which is actually pretty cool, too. So, he's going to go probably on my toy shelf somewhere. Because um, I, I would like to display him. So that's very cool. So that I do like. Okay, next up I'm going to show you some books that he got me. Oh, and there's actually a damaged action figure here. It's an Imagine X, and it kind of sucks that this is damaged, because I would love to put this in my collection, so I might just have to use them for a, uh, let's see, his, looks like the dog got to it, but I'm, I'm going to maybe use them for some kind of damaged toy photo in the, in the future, maybe. So he's going to go in my little damaged box. Okay, so... Of these cool books, because I love all these books that Carlos sent me. And I actually think I used to have this uh, golden book when I was, uh, when I was a kid. Uh, the Amazing Mumford Forgets the Magic Words. And I've been working at this, actually this 25 cent marker was actually a lot deeper and um, uh, thicker. And I'm working on uh, getting that erased off the book. So I'm hoping I can do that because I would love to remove that. But I love this book. I go, I'm glad to have it in my collection because I do collect uh, golden books. Um, I love actually collecting golden books that are in halfway decent shape and actually do not have the names written inside. Okay, and another cool book that I got is The Berenstain Bears Go to School. And I don't think I've read this before. And this has to be like an 83 uh, where, uh, or oh, this is actually 78. Wow, I actually thought it'd be like an 83. So this is very cool. So that's going to go in my little collection. I love actually collecting not just the golden books, but like, um, iconic, uh, characters, uh, cartoon characters and whatnot. I usually don't like going past, like, the early 90s, but, uh, and it just depends on the book, too. Uh, this is called Where's My Blankie? It's a Sesame Street book. I'll collect anything uh, book-wise of Sesame Street. Uh, probably I'll actually like with the other books. I'd probably stop at the 90s just because um, I, I don't like uh, any of the recent Sesame Street stuff too much. But this is 1984. 
So this is actually uh, pretty cool. And I'll, I'll look through that. So that's pretty cool. So that's going to go in my Sesame Street book collection. And speaking of which, I actually used to uh, have some of these uh, Sesame Street library books. Um, and if I can remember right, they actually used to have these in the grocery stores. And I'm from um, Omaha, Nebraska, Midwest. So we had hy V grocery stores. And I think that you would go into the hy V grocery stores and like every week or so they would have a different book. And like, I can't remember the deal that they had, but like you buy the book and like, uh, I don't know if you had to buy certain groceries or something to get the book at like a lesser value or whatever. But uh, these are actually very cool books. These are, are actually early 80s. Let me, let me just double check the date there. Uh, a lot of copyright dates because uh, it goes from 1971 all the way to 1978, actually. But I'm not sure if there's another um, printing date on this. But um, I do remember these books. Um, so very cool. Sesame Street Library. Uh, this is the LMN6 book. And then something that I definitely, definitely want to read. And since it's raining, I actually might... Uh, read this later tonight but Doctor Who comic number eight uh, so very cool I love Doctor Who love comics so I absolutely want to read this so very cool and then the one uh, I'm gonna call it a gem because I love collecting vintage Fisher Price stuff anything vintage Fisher Price I love Fisher Price stuff is uh, Probably one of my first toys, it, it, even before Star Wars came out, because Star Wars was uh, the toy line that I collected the most out of it, uh, any kind of toy line. But uh, my mom had always bought me Fisher Price stuff. I loved uh, it. Just there's just something about Fisher uh, old Fisher Price toys. I, I don't know what it was, what it is. It's just there's just something about it. And this is the Fisher Price record player. It does not come with the records because uh, Carlos just got the record player, but I'm going to acquire the records uh, on eBay or something so I can make this a complete uh, toy. And it's going to go on my Fisher Price toy shelf. So I'm very happy to have this. And just to give you the date on this, which I will show you right now, let's see if we can. 1971. That is correct, 1971. And it says, Musical Movement Made in Switzerland. Very cool. Uh, even though Fisher Price Toys, it says uh, Aurora, New York. But, uh, so, very cool. And it says, Made in the USA. So that, that's just very cool. Toys aren't made in the USA anymore. So, very cool. And uh, that is it, folks. Uh, it was a nice little size um, trade box I got from Carlos. Uh, if I remember right, I had, this might be my first trade box with Carlos. So um, very happy that I got what I got. And uh, co just comment below and like the video if you liked what you uh, saw. And Subscribe if you're new because I love showing off uh, my thrift store and flea market haul uh, toy hauls that I get. And uh, in the description below is my Flickr page or the link to the Flickr page of all my toy photography that I do. And also all my friends uh, in the Collector's Talk trading circle because they do what I do. I They collect, they show off, and they just talk about toys. So, uh, just until next time, keep playing with those toys.